Welcome back to Nature Walks. And here, as you may regard, I'm standing in this magnificent cavern, as it were. Um, this is what we normally re refer to it, that's the geographical term for a place similar to this. And what I'm standing in at the moment is a tree that's not widely regarded by the geography community. This is what we naturists actually call a penis tree, largely because I was the one who discovered it. Because, as your regard, if you come closer, this wonderful branch here, this great big phallic symbol, reminds me of my own phallus in a way that it's hard, it's rigid, and it's flaky. And, um, yes. If you see a penis tree, go over and touch it and stroke it, and you'll be reminded of me and my travels. Welcome back to Nature Walks. So now, as I trundle down to this ravine, it is magnificent. Take it over here. Now this here is the source of, would you believe it, Buxton water. This natural source here is where the water would naturally flow down these rocks here and would be purified. And over there, just down there, past the debris, is what actually leads into the bottling and manufacturing zone, whereby they will take the water and bottle it up, ready for sale in Marks and Spencer's or your local equivalent of a grocery shop. I actually personally don't like Buxton because many a time, just past that source there, I've taken a piss. So actually what they're bottling and selling to you is unhealthier than tap water. And I know that for a fact because I've just had a piss in this stream. Welcome to Nature Walk. Here we're looking at wild dogs in their habitat, and I'm looking from a safe distance. So I'm going to go in for closer <laughs> inspection. Well, I would if it wouldn't have just <laughs> run away like that. You see, just a minute ago, it deposited a ball for me to pick up, but I didn't want to pick it up for the reason that it might carry syphilis on it. And I don't want syphilis again 